We did it. Okay. Cheers. We got Cheers. This, guys. I really appreciate all of you. Hi, ladies. Hey, hey. Hey. Hi. <laughs> Cheers to a beautiful view and three friends who met on the interwebs in sterile processing who are together for the first time ever. Ever. This is awesome. Ever. This is awesome. We're so excited. <laughs> so, of course, we wanted to take the opportunity to do a video. Because, first of all, <laughs> how, can we, <laughs> how can we not? <laughs> and secondly, we, all three of us work so hard to bring professional development ideas and inspiration to the people in healthcare, uh, the people in the business world. And it just makes sense that we take some time and put our heads together and have a fun conversation yes. about what we do separately. <laughs> yeah. We do it together. Yep. A it's legit coffee-driven conversation. <laughs> yes. And I think it's funny because we all came together because we met online. We mm. met online. And yeah. we've had so many conversations and done so many lives together and so many educational events together that I feel like I knew you guys. Mm -hmm. Before you even showed up at my house. Yep. Yeah. Um, <laughs> truth be told, I invited us here. <laughs> she she did. It's true. It's, it's all true. Because <laughs> sometimes I can be blunt like that, even though I'm from the Midwest. So. <laughs> and I'm so glad you did. It has been an amazing time. Uh, yeah. So Becca and Sarah and I, Becca and Sarah and I, have done panel discussions over the past year. We've connected. You know, just outside of the public view, just on Zoom calls, and have gotten to know each other. Mm. And I've learned very quickly. I know it's been a year, but in retrospect, it seems like a very short amount of time to feel like you guys have been my friends forever. <laughs> I look up to you. I learn from you. The content Same. that you guys pump out, and mm. just like, ah, yes, healthcare needs this. Yeah. Um, and just seeing the reactions to the content that you're creating has been so cool. It's been so fun. It's been, mm -hmm. Yeah. Agreed. It's been fun, and I love that we are all so uniquely different mm -hmm. in our space and what we thrive on, Yeah, that like together is just like a, a lovely powerhouse. Yep. I just love that. Yeah, and I think that it's important to point out that we all share the space in professional development. Mm -hmm. There are no tall walls literally anymore, no screen panels, no computer screens, no tall walls <laughs> between the type of information that we can share because we are willing to give information freely to one another and to the people that reach out to us. Mm -hmm. And I think that that mentality in professional development, not just specifically in still processing, but you know, I get a little nerdy about some instruments, that's what it's gonna take yeah. to create the type of industry professionals that deserve to be personified in our space, mm -hmm. that we already are. So yes. cheers to that. Cheers. cheers to that, yes, cheers. Cheers. professional development. We were talking yesterday about <clears throat> what we should create some video content around and we thought wouldn't it be cool to share like the little nuggets of information that we've taken with us and carried with us that have been the most impactful mm. and so I think that this is the perfect space mm. because I'm gonna learn from your little nuggets I'm gonna learn from your little nuggets we no, haven't shared gonna learn from we yours haven't uh -huh. shared them all and so this is gonna be a really cool opportunity for us to just use this time and this space to bounce ideas off of each other and talk about what's, from a professional development standpoint, what's been most impactful for us. So we're excited to share that with anyone who's tuning in as well. Yay! Yay. Who Perfect. wants to go first? Oh, I'll go first. Yeah. <laughs> I'll go first. So, you know, one thing I learned, so just a, a quick little bit about me. I worked in sterile processing for seven years, and now I've been a sales rep for eight years. And a little something about me is that, like, I'm too confident. It's, it's not, like, I shouldn't be as confident as I am sometimes. <laughs> so when I started this, when I started as a rep, I thought, like, I've got this. I'm so good. Like, I'm going to rule the world. And I was humbled so quickly. It was painful. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah let, let me tell you how good you are, Becca. No. <laughs> no, you are, are not good. Mm. And I would go into situations thinking that I knew, like, if somebody asked me a question, I should give them the answer. Mm. And so we all know in healthcare, if you give the wrong answer, it can be detrimental. Mm. Mm -hmm. And so when I first started, I felt like I had to give an answer rather than just saying, you know what? I don't know that answer. Yeah. Let me get back to you. Yeah. So that was a huge one for me. It's like, yes, I can find the answer and I have the resources to find the answer. 
but I might not be that resource for you. Right, mm -hmm. right. So yeah. that was huge. Not feeling like you have to know the answers, but also wanting to find them for the person mm -hmm. asking. I love mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. What a huge <laughs> lesson to just... A lesson in humility, a lesson in... Humility. A lesson in being a true resource. I think that that's like the embodiment of being a resource for someone is, shoot, I don't know the answer, but I will find it for mm -hmm. you. And I will get it back to you uh, in a timely manner. That's a great lesson learned. A great lesson I had learned. to learn the hard yeah. way. Believe me, yeah. we won't dive into that. <laughs> so, maybe over drinks tonight. Maybe. Yeah, right. There we go. There we go. <laughs> one of the things that it it seems small, but one of the one of the things that one of my mentors said to me once was, when you are faced with a situation where it's a seemingly new individual that you're coming across, instead of saying "nice to meet you," say "nice to see you." Because how many times have we been in a situation where we're like, oh, it's so great to meet you. And someone's like, yeah, this is like the fourth or fifth time that we've uh, met. <laughs> and you're standing there with your tail between your legs like, ah. Oh, yeah. And I'm a jerk. <laughs> and I'm the jerk, yes. yes. So yes. nice to see you is a really great way to avoid any sort of, um, any sort of, you know, awkward situations with people you've met many, many times. That's so, the truth. Small nugget, but one that I'm just like, okay, that's saved me, I'm sure, time and again. Nice. Yeah. 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 What about you, Sarah? Um, I relate a lot to Becca's uh, humility story just because that's what I strive to help other people understand is that moment of that hard stop, that pause for your professional presentation and I was such a steamroller and I can be very steamroller in a situation and dominate anything just because I think it's best because I thought of it so I think the best advice my mentor ever gave me is that if I ever just stopped for a second just one second just stop to see if where I was going was because I wanted it or because I wanted to prove a point mm. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Wow. that would serve my overall mission and uh, he's a little bit more direct than that, but shout out to him. He meets who he is. And uh, it always serves because I need directness, and I appreciate that. And that stays with me in everything I do. I can say yes, but is it what I want, and will it serve the end goal that I see for myself and our industry space? Mm. Well, and don't so you guys feel one. like it's like when it comes down to it, it is about serving others. <laughs> like, how do I take my 15 years of experience and serve? Mm our sterile processing industry. How does Sarah take her unique, very unique self <laughs> and, <laughs> and capacity <laughs> to teach in her own way? Mm -hmm. And how does Lynn's do the same? Like we are all very different, but mm -hmm. if, if we combine the yeah. efforts and the knowledge and the resources, I think it's it's a great lesson for everybody that we are all stronger together, mm -hmm. yeah. right? I love that. I love that. And it just goes, goes to show like the power of professional development and the power of understanding that we all have a seat at the table. Um, because yes. it comes down to resonance. <laughs> it comes down to who you resonate with. Um, maybe you resonate more with Sarah. Maybe you resonate with, more with Becca. Maybe you resonate more with me. We all individually put out content, me through my 60-second growth spurt through Beyond Clean. Sarah, your pre-treat CSS content for professional development is is so important for the yeah, space. Thank you. And Becca, from a business perspective, the motivation, the inspiration, and the business savvy that you mm. put out in your content, all of it's so entirely different. So different. So <laughs> different, but so relevant and hopefully resonant in different ways mm. with all of you, yeah. which is pretty special. Yeah. One of the other little nuggets uh, of information or of, of inspiration that I take with me from a professional development standpoint is... The understanding that we're all in a developmental phase, <clears throat> and I love one of my one of my business mentors is actually um, a woman who has worked in the therapy space for a really long time, and she had this one liner that's a, an acorn is not an imposter oak tree; it's just at a different developmental phase. Oh, that's so good. And when I heard that, like, I just got goosebumps everywhere. Again, every time I think about that, it, it, it checks myself, first of all. But it's something that I think is really important to share with other people because sometimes you get into this, this feeling of, like, oh, I'm an imposter in this mm -hmm. situation. I don't know enough to be sitting at this table. I don't know enough to, like, feel like my opinion or my insights yeah. matter. Mm -hmm. But we're all at a different phase of development in whatever growth goal we're going toward. 
And that's just such a huge thing to sit back and remember is like, okay, I may not know everything I need to know right now in this moment to get here, mm. but I know enough to get here. Mm. And those steps, mm -hmm. those developmental phases are where it's at. That's where the learning happens. Right. And not getting intimidated by where somebody else is at. Right. Like, like you can't right. compare yes. your yep. finish line to somebody's starting point. And, and I, do, I do that too. It's yes. just so bad. Like sometimes I'll yeah. even compare myself to you ladies. <laughs> Which is crazy. Look at us. We're all sitting here. But, like, I would compare myself to, like, man, Sarah just knocked that out of the park. I don't think that I should post what I was going to post, right? And like, I probably say that about everything Becca posts, by the way. So just throwing that out there. So. But, but this is real, though. Like, this is a real conversation. Mm -hmm. Like, we, we have this, like, self-doubt in our professional, like, what we add. Yeah. Like, my acorn, your acorn. Like, they're yeah, different. They're like, different, yeah. And how we give it and deliver it. Mm -hmm just works for some and not right. others and it's yeah. like you know I've, I've heard the saying like um keep going when nobody's clapping oh yeah that's good like you just that's have good. to keep going sometimes you gotta slow clap for yourself yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know? feel, feel the weight of your hand on your back because you're gonna be your biggest fan and when you're doubting it don't because mm -hmm. your hand it feels good mm -hmm. just brush it off keep it moving <laughs> yeah important yeah. yeah yeah and i think you said a little piece at the end you know when you were talking about um really like comparing a chapter one to a chapter 23. Sometimes mm -hmm. you're not even in your chapter one, you're just in the table of contents. Ooh. You know, you're just you're laying it out. Ooh. Right, you're just yeah. laying out what yeah. you even want to get and you're skipping to the end of the book. And you could get to the end of the book and have no idea what's going on. And that's a perfect analogy when you think of your professional development phases. It's like you have to plot out how you're going to gauge your own success because if you're taking on a list of other people's shoulds and making them your must, shout out Marie Forleo, yeah, you will get caught up in the <laughs> expectations that people have for you mm -hmm. and not in the anticipation that you have for your own greatness. That brings me back to the motivational podcast that you played yesterday morning yeah. while we were awesome. having coffee about <laughs> not getting caught up in someone else's normal. Mm. <clears throat> like not feeling like you have to sort of bend to someone to, to the normal that someone else feels is normal because mm -hmm. all of us <laughs> we're not normal no. <laughs> like, <laughs> we have very different normals than each other and very different normals than anyone watching this <laughs> for better weird. or for worse we, we get weird, weird. we get weird, weird. Yeah. but it makes it interesting yeah. <clears throat> i think it adds a certain dynamic to the content that we put out mm. um because it's unapologetic and it's genuine and and there's value there mm-hmm mm -hmm. Yeah, I completely agree. And I think it's like, you know, it, it's on each of us mm. to decide, mm -hmm. like, how, how are we going to serve? Mm. You know, if, and I, being a big personality, I like it when people clap. I like it when people say, <laughs> yeah, girl, that was so good. And then I have those moments when there's no clapping. And when you continue to pursue, I mean, I've been on this journey for five years of building my own brand and my own business. And when you continue to pursue it, you get these, like I had a post I made the other day and literally crickets, like <laughs> nothing. I was like, whoo, did I take that down? And then, <laughs> no, really. and then I get this little ping in my draft message and a, a gentleman had sent me a message and he said, Becca, thank you so much. Mm. That really resonated with me. I, you know, I just interviewed for a job position and it didn't go well and I didn't get the job, like, what would you recommend as my next step? Mm -hmm. And I was like, you know what? It did resonate with someone. Yeah. That is staying there. That's <laughs> good. Like, yeah. mm -hmm. but, but, like, people are still consuming and mm -hmm. seeing what you put out into the world, yeah. whether or not they respond. Mm -hmm. Totally. That's such a, oh, that's I such a that. huge. That was good. That's a nugget. A nugget. Yeah, nugget. that's a nugget. Hit rewind and listen. Like, just <laughs> hit your phone 15 seconds because that's. That's gold. Yeah, that's just cool. because you're not seeing the outward reactions from people, especially on social media. We, we've we been groomed to thrive on the likes, the loves, the reactions, mm. the comments, the shares, the reshares, etc. But even if those numbers aren't adding up, it doesn't mean that people aren't still consuming what you're putting out there. It doesn't mean they're not resonating with what you're saying. It doesn't mean that they're not learning from the things that you're posting. Right. And I think that for the three of us, sitting here, since we do intentionally put out professional development yeah. content, mm -hmm. it's tricky to not be like, oh, how many people have 
push that button. <laughs> I <laughs> shut the notifications off on a post because I will become obsessive. And then I'll start to almost like weigh the weight of my heart with more than just a feather. And it's the idea of that satisfaction, that glorification, especially amongst your peers, that inflates ego. And that can really Mm -hmm. disalign yourself, especially in your professional journey, you know, taking that hard stop. So for me, I literally have to shut off. (laughs) notifications on posts because what are you doing it for like what are you doing it for the number of (laughs) well here's the thing like are you doing it for the number of reactions or are you doing it because you want people to take what you're saying and like take a chunk of it and like have that change their trajectory Mm -hmm. of their hour of their day of their career Mm -hmm. yeah that's what it's for well and you know for me it's like I want to share what I'm learning as I grow Mm. and so you know what if it's a CEO watching this, what, what I have to say might not resonate with him. Mm. But for somebody... Or saying, her. Yeah. Him or her. Oh, yeah. Work. Oh, oh, I he, just got she, just, they, me. Just <laughs> told. Um, but, but somebody sitting at home on their couch might be like, you know what? That's what I needed to get to the next level. Mm. That is the nugget of wisdom and yeah. like the tool that I needed to <laughs> elevate my thinking. Mm-hmm. If you're a content creator, think about it. When you listen to a podcast, when you see a motivational post, is it important for you to, like, reflect on it and take some time, or is it important for you to just, like, push the like button? Mm. My assumption is it's important for you to learn and to take from it what you're going to use in your next phase. Mm -hmm. So as content creators, we can't get hung up on expecting that, that external reward yeah right yeah and I think that comes with that hard stop and that check of technician ego is important you know serving the underlying reason on why you do what you do and how you present yourself you know and that is also something my mentor taught me in this space is that are you doing it for the end goal or are you doing it for the people you serve and that just like hits that spot there because if you are doing it for the likes listen no shame no gain you want to make sure you get that 4.3 thousand likes i (laughs) am all for it because i'll probably be one if you're showing up on my for you page but does that serve you in that backspace does the 4.3 thousand likes get you that speaking commitment brings you to a larger audience so that you can share something valuable to more people more of the people that you're trying to touch in what space does that serve so if it's honestly that's your important part, own it, take it, be it, but check the ego and your end goals because you can derail yourself. The main thing is to, with any content that you put out, whether it's your company putting out content, whether it's your personal content that you're putting out, the content is important. What's more important is the action on the, from the content, the action that the that content has led to. Somebody results. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Like, yes. or that... And think about this. If you don't put content out there, nobody's going to act on it because it doesn't exist. Yes. And, Linz, you nailed it, Linz. Hey, nailed it, okay? (laughs) Because because that's the thing. If you're waiting to be perfect before you deliver a product, you are missing the people that need to see your imperfections. Mm -hmm. I Do I think the things I could kick out could be a lot better? Sure, sure. But I got to get it out there. And half of the battle is making sure that individuals can see that we are growing. We can't uh-huh. speak on professional development and showing up as you are to become who you want to be if we ourselves are not being held accountable to our own anticipations of you. Well, I, and growing in those uncomfortable moments. Like, yes. You know, like we could have all sat on my couch this morning drinking <clears throat> coffee all morning, eating breakfast. We but we're like, you know yesterday. what? <laughs> but, but here's the thing, though. It's bigger than us. Yeah. Mm. So we decided we need to stop and take this opportunity to reach the people that, that we want to serve mm-hmm. today. <laughs> and and we couldn't do that by staying on the couch. Mm-hmm. So yeah. we can't, you can't make a difference without action. Right. So unless we say, hey, we're doing this. We're going to take action to make a better tomorrow. It's mm-hmm. not going to happen. Right. Can't think about a dream and bring it to reality. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Like so, that. a couple things that I love about this setting in particular. First of all, if you don't already know this, we are three very different, <laughs> very different individuals. Mm-hmm. We all have a space in the professional development world where we want to bring people into what what we feel 
we've learned from mm. and what we feel like we've what we've felt like we've been able to internalize and turn into output to help the people around us in the industry that mm. we're in and we've never had a chance to sit in person mm -hmm. with each other <laughs> and <laughs> and do what we love the most, and that's talk about how do we build people up? How do we give people tools to help them reach their next professional goal or really take a look at themselves as individuals mm -hmm. and say, okay, what is it that I bring to the table? Because I deserve this seat here, mm -hmm. but what can I bring that's unique? What can I bring that's um, going to change the world around me? Mm -hmm. I want to encourage individuals watching today that sometimes it's, it is absolutely important to have a seat at the table, but sometimes you have to make the table you sit at. That's going to hit in a very particular way, especially when you don't want to be the individual that's repurposing, I don't want to say content because that takes the luster out of it, but if you're repurposing what everyone is saying and you feel like you can add something different to that, build your own table if the table's full because then more individuals will come and sit next to you. And who knows, maybe you've made a space that will hit with someone else differently. And just because you're at a table and you're taking a you know, a more observant mm. role doesn't mean you don't deserve to be there. That's You're right. learning. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, and I would say it's like you, you said, build your own table, right? But you have to make that conscious choice too. Yes. Mm. Because as we as we sat in the hot tub the other night, we bounced so many awesome. ginormous business ideas off of each other that were like, <laughs> is that even a reality? <laughs> and I was I like, know. guys, we're going to find out. <laughs> <laughs> because when you are created to do something bigger than yourself for people that need it, you can't stop. <laughs> yeah. That's a passion. Mm -hmm. you, you have to keep going. And it might look a little different two years from now. Mm -hmm. People might look at you and say, what are you up to, kid? I've gotten that one a lot lately. <laughs> what are you up to, kid? And I'm like, oh. Let me tell you. I'm up to creating change because you cannot you cannot put influence or impact in a box. Mm -hmm. It has to be free. Yes. Yeah. It has to be free that. to bless other people and serve them at a high level. Mm -hmm. And you can't do that unless you're showing up at the table. Yes. So rather than, I hear this a lot in our industry where people complain a lot and talk about all the problems and all the change that needs to occur. Well, what part are you taking in that change? Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. a real question. Yeah. The so, ownership. Ooh. The yeah. ownership. You've got to own. <laughs> you've got to own your desire or share it with Whoa. another industry professional that can help translate your message. Absolutely. And get it out. Mm -hmm. That's an option too. I love that. Yeah. Three more. Ladies. Ladies. Cheers. 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 These nuts. Cheers to sterile processing. Cheers to healthcare. To Cheers you. to professionals everywhere who are. Well on their way. Learning we something are new. so much stronger We're together. with you. We're we here. are stronger together. And uh, know that if you are looking for a little ounce of support, motivation, inspiration, a sounding board, mm -hmm. we are a LinkedIn message away. That's right. Yep. One message away, guys. Thank you so much. Cheers to you. Cheers. Cheers. Bye. <laughs>